Hi everyone, this is Grace of GB Maltese and I thought I would do a video showing my me working on my crystal mandala that I ordered from Amazon. I have done a little bit just to see how it was going to start looking and I think it's looking beautiful. So I wanted to show you how I worked out picking up the bigger little pieces. I am so pleased with this. I love the way it's looking. Just, can you see the shine? Not sure how well this is picking up, but it's just beautiful. It's so shiny, just like what you're seeing. Before I start, I'm going to show you a couple of drill pins that I purchased. These are the most expensive drill pins that I've ever purchased. And I've had them for a couple of months, and I do enjoy using them. I, kind of like everyone else, like to change around using different supplies. Um, I ordered these from a Facebook page called Handmade Diamond Painting Pins. And I, I'll put a link below this video in case you're interested. They are $25 a piece, and you have to get on a waiting list. I waited two months probably for each one of these because there are lots of people wanting these they also make regular writing pens They're, those things are more expensive this one is made from um, red cedar is what I chose for this one and this one is made from a resin and I believe I can't remember which color I picked out. It was a, a blue and black swirl or Aquarius. It was one of the blue ones, but as you can see, it's, it looks a little bit different all the way around. So I, I'll put that below if you're interested, if you want to save up to get one, like for your birthday or Christmas or whatever. Um, this one has three bumps you tell them the how many bumps you want in it this one has three bumps and that lets me hold this here and then it's just got that bump there and you can choose on each end what you want I had a single placer put on both ends because that's what I use most of the time you could have a single on this end and a triple on this end or you could have a a triple on both ends or you could have a, a single on one end and I, I think they have a five placer I can't I think that's what it is but I got single placers on both of them because that's what I use most of the time that's my favorite way to use my pens I already have put wax in them I just use regular wax um, I have my wax Half of this is Diamond Dots wax and half is just regular pink wax because my Diamond Dots wax was getting kind of low. So I just put, so I don't even know, it's kind of mixed up in there and I just stick it in there until I get my pen full. So I just thought I'd show you these. I have shown you some other of uh, ones of my Diamond pens. So this is just a fancier one. I like all different kinds. I think we all like to play with different types of toys <laughs> when we get into our crafts. Okay, let me turn this over. And I thought, well, I'll just talk with you a little while while I work on this. And if you've noticed, I have just my A4 light board underneath. I have my smaller one since this is a smaller piece. Don't need the big one. I have, In fact, I have my big one underneath the wolf I have been working on and I am probably two-thirds of the way done with that one so I'm hoping to get that done very soon and get a framing video up of that so you'll be seeing that hopefully next week keeping my fingers crossed ah. so this is really neat <clears throat> this is all I have done is I just have my my bags over here these came some of them already came in their own little baggies. And these came in the other top. And I just put them in my own baggie. And I put number one because that goes with number one on the K 
canvas. And then I put a two in a circle because that's the symbol that it will match on the canvas itself. This is 35 by 35 centimeters or 14 by 14 inches. So it's a nice size for a little kit. It has, it is a partial. Most of your special diamond kits are partials. And that's what I wanted was a partial and I wanted the special diamonds. And I showed those in I, the, the video I did right before this one. So, let's get started so I can show you what I do to put these down. Now, I saved the green one because the green one is my favorite. And I wanted to put it down with you guys. This is such a cool little drill. I kind of showed it to you last time sure how well you can see it let me put it in here maybe you can see it better it looks like a peacock feather actually and it has little tiny drills around it little tiny rhinestones or crystals or whatever around there and then there's a tear shot tear, tear, tear shaped drill in the center what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it up in the center of that well I don't have to put it back down I just turn my drill pin around and I'm going to put it right there. And there it is. Let's see if you can see the shine on that. Uh, look at that. It's just gorgeous. I'm in love with this. In fact, when I finish this one, I'm going to be getting another one just like it. I do have about six paintings, uh, diamond paintings coming from New Frog. And all of them are special diamonds because I wanted some more special ones to do and I'm going to see how those came are going to come out they take a little longer I got this one from Amazon and I have prime shipping so I got it in two days <laughs> yay Amazon but let's see um, the next what I've been doing is starting in the very center and the center ones are the D and the D is number six so here's number six and number six has a little bit larger stones. I'm just going to put them right here. I need three. And <clears throat> actually, it you can pick them up with this pen. And you just put it down. Now, you can also use tweezers. These tweezers here are some that I purchased years ago. I used to do t-shirts with Swarovski crystals and I picked them up one by one. Some of them were smaller than um, some of the things I do on diamond paintings but I can use it right here and just set it down, push it down, pick it up, put it down but as you can see you can do it either way. And I did have someone comment wouldn't it have been nice if they put tweezers in there and it would have <laughs> but uh, a lot of you have tweezers in some of your kits if you really need it. Um, and if you don't, you can purchase them pretty much anywhere if you feel like you need them. Like I said, you can pick it up with, with this. Okay, let's see what's next. Let's go to these little pink ones. Now these little pink ones are these purple actually the pink if when I look over here it shows that's number seven okay my it's up here also I have a key in both places which I really like so I'm going to put some of those into my tray these are little, really tiny and I have found I went ahead and did some on this so I could kind of see what I needed to show you when I was doing this is I pick it up on the it's got kind of a big butt end is what I call it because they're teardrop shape so that I can put I turn this so I can put the big behind right here into the big behind on that a little teardrop looks like a little teardrop let's see if that's going to show up for you you can kind of see it but that's all I'm doing just pick it up and put it down 
and I pick it up, like I said, from the big end and just stick it down. It's not difficult at all. They are a different shape than are in just regular diamond paintings, but these are so cool. And the stickiness of this, fantastic. I tell you what, it will come up with your finger. So I'm going to wait and do all of these smaller ones later. I went ahead and did these so you could kind of see what it's going to look like when it gets done. So I'm, I'm having fun with this. I really am. I like to do something a little bit different. And I have been talking about doing other kinds of videos. Um, I told you about my um, special, they're watercolor crayon type things. They're, my daughter had um, purchased for me for my birthday. And they are very, uh, they're very luxurious. They are probably one of the best ones. They're Caran d'Ache, if, if you're familiar with some of the pencils and things that's a very very good brand and she indulges me she's so sweet so I want to I need to play around with those a little bit and we'll play around with that together and learn things together um, I have some watercolor pencils also that I purchased purchased for myself it's for my birthday they were cheaper than the, the crayons and, and I did get the Prismacolor ones and I'll tell you more about the cost of those and we're going to figure out how to use those. I have used uh, just regular colored pencils when I, I do my colorings. And I have several coloring books that I want to crack open and get into. I also, Hannah Lynn is one of my favorite coloring book author she's got the cutest things but she has a website and you can just purchase it the coloring things online and print them out yourself in case you want to use like I want to use these watercolor things and I, I'm putting it on thicker paper so that I can use it so there's different ways that you can do these things and we're going to see how it works out but I thought hey you know framing these diamond paintings I could if I do a coloring that I really like, I can frame it, kind of like what I'm doing here. And that might be kind of fun. Just, just to have other things to be doing. And, of course, you know, I crochet. And I have, I have a, a top that I'm looking at that I'm thinking of making. So, yeah, I'm... I'm overloading myself with stuff, but diamond painting is just is so relaxing, and I can think about things while I'm doing it. Um, so I do enjoy doing this, and I can talk to you. Putting these smaller ones down does take a little bit more concentration. Let's see. Because they're not fitting right next to each other, so... I don't know, I'm, I'm, I get so, and I know a lot of you are the same way, you get OCD um, over some of these things, you you want it to be just perfect, it's got to be just in the perfect spot, or it's just not right, I don't want to relax with these things, I just let it go with the flow, but it's hard to do. So, what are you working on while I'm doing my mandala and I have I usually say mandala and I'm not sure <laughs> which one is the best way to say this type of a picture mandala I guess that's the correct pronunciation I don't know does it really matter well not to me because I don't know which way it is I just know it's beautiful and I love looking at these they are so peaceful looking to me and I think they will go in pretty much almost any area you want to put them in they have so many different colors and shapes of these I just think they're beautiful 
So as I was saying, what are you working on? Are you doing a diamond painting? Are you knitting on something? Are you crocheting? Are you coloring? Are you loom knitting? That's another thing I enjoy doing is loom knitting. Um, I, I guess we all like to try different things and see how they go, but I enjoy doing all different kinds of crafts. In the past, I have done, I've latch hooked rugs, I've needle pointed, I've done counted cross stitch, I've done oil paintings, I've done acrylic paintings, I've worked with pastels, just all different types of things. But I'm finding that I enjoy probably the crocheting and the diamond painting, and I want to get more into the coloring um, of things. I just enjoy doing that. The I used to love counted cross stitch, but then I got tired of dealing with the little pieces of thread. So that was one thing that kind of, I guess, made me quit was, and I had lots of floss, boy, and I had it all wrapped and put in boxes and stored, and I'm sure a lot of you out there have done almost any craft you can think of like I have. I haven't, whoops, well come on. <laughs> these are tiny, I'm telling you, these are so tiny. But I know this is going to be beautiful. This is probably one I need to concentrate on maybe a little more. I'm getting on to other things. Let me, whoops. These are very, very tiny. And the little ends, the little pointed ends are really tiny. <clears throat> there we are. Okay. There we are. But they are so pretty. Okay, the next one I want to go to are the blue leaves. And that is number eight. Okay, and number eight are these. Are they gorgeous? I just love these types of things that have the different kinds of drills, the special diamonds as they call them. It's just fun because you, you're seeing things differently. I love doing pictures too. Uh, that's another thing. I to seeing your picture come alive when you're working on your diamond paintings. It's so neat. It is really cool. Okay. These are going to go in the blue spots. Let me go down here first. Do at the bottom. And this will pick it up very easily. Put it down. These bigger ones are so much easier. Yes. Make a liar out of me now, Grace. Why don't we do that? Okay. Oops. I'll turn this over. We get a side that has more glue towards the end of it. The bigger ones need a little bit, maybe more glue sticking out at the end. But it will pick them up. Pick them up. Or again, you can, you could probably use your fingers, but I think that it might be a little more fiddly than what I want to deal with. So I'm not going to do that because they are so close together. If it was just sitting out by itself, like this one was, that wouldn't be a big problem. You could probably pick those up and put them down by hand. But these smaller ones being close together, that would get a lot more fiddly than what I want to be dealing with. Okay, then we got some more up here. This is going to be so sparkly. Let's see how it does with my tweezers. Yes, and you, I can turn it. 
what I'm thinking, why I need to just turn it around and then I can, that's one thing with these, you can turn them around. And some people don't like the clear plastic covers. I, I like them just fine. I don't care. Either one I can work with. I think my very first one that I did, which has been, gosh, well over a year and a half ago, it was done with a clear cover. And I was that's just what I was used to. In fact, I probably like the clear covers better so I can see where I'm at. And I just pull the paper up and down as I need to. It's what you get used to, I guess. There we go. Okay. They're so sparkly. Ah, look how they sparkle. I am just so impressed with this kit. I really am. In fact, I'll put the link to where I bought this one again under this video because I had several people I had a, ha, have it under my other video also. If you want to see a, a better close-up of things. And I have a link under that video. But I'll put a link underneath this one. If you are interested in purchasing this. I, I paid $12.98 for this. And I think it was well worth it for all these beautiful diamonds. Gems. I mean, they're just gorgeous. Of price was very nice for for all that you get with it. Now remember, the tweezers did not come in this kit, and they didn't come in any diamond kit at all. As I said, I purchased these when I used to do T-shirts and picked up little tiny um, Swarovski crystals. So these with this kind of bent shape are the best I have ever used for picking things up. And it's been so many years ago, I don't remember where I purchased them. I might have gotten them on Amazon. I do not remember. That was many, many years ago. It was over, I'm, well, probably over 10 years since I started, since I did that. Because I have not made a shirt since my mom passed away. And April 29th will be 10 years since she's been gone. I can't believe it's been 10 years. Oh, my word. Still miss her. And I know several of you out there have family members missing that. And you, you know, you have friends, family. They say time heals all, but it doesn't heal that pain. You're still going to miss them. Um, it, it's a, it is a little bit different, but yeah, I miss them, her, her very, very much. Oh, and then um, this has been about two weeks ago, I guess, and I couldn't talk about it until I'll talk about it today. I couldn't talk about it before, but I went to a funeral of one of my former students two weeks ago. He was only 18. I taught him when he was in junior high. He was in my ESL class. He just graduated last year. And uh, from what I have been told, it was an accident. There was a party and there were guns, there are a gun, whatever, and I think they were playing with it or messing around with it, and he got shot in the head or right under the chin somewhere. Um, they did have an open casket, so they did a good job. I'm not sure exactly where he got shot, but now he's, I just felt so bad for the parents. I just... That, that that was hard. That was hard. I just could not believe it. Could not believe it. You think you're going to live forever. But it doesn't work that way, does it? But that was a very, very, very 
hard day. Okay, let's move on. Let's see what's next. Okay, we're going to go to B again, which is that beautiful peacock. I just love these. I'll go ahead and put one here and here. And look, there's a lot of them that go around this area. Ooh, I can't wait to do those. Oh, how did that get on there? There we go. Let's put two more of these down. And I'm just going to pick it up with my tweezers here and put it down. But as you saw, and I'll do that again, I just picked it up with this. I picked it up right in the middle of this blue stone and put it down. Just very easy. I'm going to use my tweezers too. Well, it's right on it. It just, I just felt like it needed straightening, but I guess it's where it needs to be. Isn't this beautiful? I am, so, oh, I love this. Well, let's see. If I can talk about something a little happier. It's just been kind of a, I don't know, weird, weird month. As you know, my birthday was February the 19th. I've talked about that before. And I had, my daughter lives, she's about 270 so miles away from where I live. And she planned a surprise party for me talk about a shock I don't know how my husband especially was able to keep it a secret I had no clue they had been planning it since Christmas is what they told me and that nobody let anything slip out especially my brother that lives right next door that that's a task in itself for him to keep it a secret but all of uh, Almost everyone got to be there. There are about 29 or 30 people there at a Mexican, one of my favorite Mexican restaurants here in town, and it was just so much fun. I, <laughs> I very seldom ever drink anything. I just don't. I just not, just don't do it. But I had a frozen watermelon margarita, and I had the small one. And I was, tell you what, I had everybody laughing in there. My, one of my nephews, he's my nephew-in-law, he gets the biggest kick if, when he sees me. And it, it just has to be just one. Because I'm laughing at everything. I laughed at everything. And they came out um, at the... It's a tradition in Mexico and maybe some other countries too. And they push your face into the cake. Well, the take on that at the restaurant is they come out. They This guy jammed this hat on my head. A sombrero. Big sombrero. And he then put whipped cream in his hand. Smashed it up into my face. Rubbed it all into my eyes. Into the eyes. Down my nose. He was rubbing it all in there. Then he gets a cherry and right into my nose. And uh, it's a good thing that I did have that drink because I might have gotten mad. I'm not sure. I had glasses on. As you know, I wear glasses. Uh, if I hadn't, uh, I probably would not have been happy at all because it would have been in my eyes. But I was laughing hysterically. I just... I think it scared me to start with, and I was just laughing and laughing and laughing. And then when I then they sing the song. There's a special song they sing in Spanish that is part of the tradition, and they sang that. And I'm just laughing the whole time. They're singing and clapping, and I'm laughing, and not really knowing what's going on. So that was fun. And as soon as they left, my husband. He's so sweet. He took my glasses and went to the bathroom and washed them off. Yeah, they were so caked with whipped cream. I could see nothing. I don't, I wouldn't have been able to run away if I had to. If someone was after me, I wouldn't. Because um, I can't see much without my glasses on. 
pretty much almost blind. <laughs> so yeah, that was a real, a real treat. But the the best part of the whole thing was seeing everyone there. I remember walking in to the restaurant, and one of my former students was that worked there. She wanted she came up to me, and we always I always hug her or any of my students that I see, give them a hug, and. Um, I didn't see anything going on. They had had them way over to the other side of the restaurant. I saw nothing. I was just looking straight at my girl. And then Jerry's, my husband, his name is Jerry, said, okay, let's, we need to go on over here. I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. You know, what's the hurry? Of course, he's, he can be like that anyway. He just doesn't want to keep the waitress waiting. And I don't either, but I had to, to of course greet my sweet girl they're always my kids it doesn't matter how long it's been since I've seen them or taught them they'll always be my kids oh my goodness let's see if we can fix that so we get over there and I look at this table and I'm like oh my gosh I recognize these people and I, I was looking up and I saw my daughter standing there and she was the only one I was focusing on and then I just started crying and I'm going oh, what are y'all doing here what are you do? I was a mess and I went around and gave everyone a hug it was so exciting I had the best time and I got some some different little gifts they were so sweet um, I had that is the best birthday I've ever had and the reason it was such a special birthday was because I turned 60 and my daughter wanted me to have a special birthday party so if you've listened this far now you know how old I am I think I've mentioned it before it's no big deal you know like the saying goes you're as old as you feel and I think that's pretty true because I certainly don't feel much over being I guess in my 20s sometimes I like to still still be silly and do fun things and I enjoy crafting and I love people now I'm not when I'm out in public it takes me a while to warm up sometimes but then once I get to know you there is no shutting me up <laughs> as you can see right now I'm just talking your ears off. If, if if you're actually still on here, thank you if you're still listening to me. I'm just, I just blibber and blabber on and on and on. Um, I remember the year I turned 40. My Some of my teacher friends at school, <laughs> they don't know where they got found this. They found a buzzard pinata. Of course, we didn't, there was no candy or anything in it, but they had it hanging over my door in my classroom. I was teaching third grade at the time. So that was, um, <laughs> you know, those are things you just never forget. And they had black balloons in there and all kinds of stuff. So that was, that was another memorable occasion. I've had other things, but the best birthday, as I said, was this, this last one, this that my daughter was there because I remember telling her, gosh, I wish you could be here, you know, I'm, uh, and she said, oh, me too. Yeah, she knew she was coming. <laughs> they all kept it a secret. And I remember telling my sister, my sister lives probably about 80, 90 miles away from me. So I don't see her that often, but she was there, of course, and my both of my brothers were there. And my brother, Daryl, that has been fighting the cancer, he was there. I was so glad to see him. In fact, he just had another, the last cancer that was left on his head that the uh, radiation didn't get rid of. He had that removed. Um, after This was after my party. He had that done one day last week. I have to tell you something funny about that. Um, but he was there, and I was just so excited to see my siblings, my nieces, my nephews. Um, 
and those of you who watched me for a while, Isaac was there. They invited Isaac. He's uh, one of my students that I, uh, I call him my nieto, which means grandson. They, my daughter and my husband remember to invite him because we're very close. They all know him. And he was there. Just, he was wonderful. He was so wonderful. But let me tell you about my brother. Um, well, you know, if you've been watching me, you know Daryl. This is, was, he's been, fought his third bout with cancer. The last PET scan came back clear. He just had that one place left on his head <clears throat> that had to be removed. Well, he had that done last week, and he sent us a picture. And <laughs> he said, look at this picture. He said, on one side, I look like I'm 16. On the other, I look 65, because he, he'll be 65 on his next birthday. And, <laughs> and it was kind of true, because they did these stitches so tight that one side of his face was lifted. It looked like he had some kind of a facelift. And then he just kept joking about it, and he said, yeah, my eyes are really closed. They're open because the, they stitched it so tight. So he had his, he has the best sense of humor. He's hilarious. He could be um, a comedian. Uh, he is a hoot. My brother Greg, he's, he's funny too, but sometimes he can be kind of mean. I've told you some of my stories about Greg. Yeah, I've got lots of stories about Greg. He's a mess. But he, even though my brothers gave us, me and my sister, a hard time, if anyone had tried to harm us or do anything, they would have been there, well, I hope they would have, <laughs> to stop it. And I know they would have. But it was, that was a, just, that he, because my, uh, Daryl, it's about an hour drive from where he lives, and that he was able, he came, because he has problems still with his um, breathing from when he had lymphoma. It caused damage to his lungs, Sar sarcosis, I don't know what it's called. One of you out there may know what, what it is, but it damaged his lungs pretty bad, and sometimes he has to use oxygen, but he didn't bring his oxygen or anything. He doesn't like to use it if he doesn't have to. But everyone was there, and they all yelled surprise, and I was definitely surprised. Best birthday of my life, I have to say. I just loved it. So, the worst part was when they got the whipped cream in my face, and I couldn't see anything. <laughs> It was kind of funny, I guess. Uh, but even my uh, my sister, it made her mad. She said, he did that too rough on you. And it was. He slammed that up in my face, rubbed it around in there. He slammed that hat so hard on my head. That's what, it really scared me. And Isaac said my um, that Daryl was saying, I thought I was going to have to pull my knife out. Because... He didn't know what the guy was getting ready to do. Jamming that hat on top of my head like that. And then slat, slat, lathering whipped cream in my face. I will have wonderful memories of that. That just, it makes me smile. It's nice to have, you know, some good memories to think about. And um, when my brother turned 60, I had a big party for him. <clears throat> and um, and when when Greg turned sixty, um, we we did something for him too. But I it was mostly just me and my husband and um, my husband's wife's daughter was there, and we had a good time with her. So my sister, she's fourteen months younger than I am. She said, "Nobody better do anything like this for me." Especially with the whipped cream part. She said she would kill them if they did that to her. And knowing Judy, she might. She's, she is very particular about how she looks. She wants to, you know, look just so. Well, I do too, but she hadn't, she didn't drink anything at all. Maybe she would have thought it was funnier then, but... 
Um, we're not alcoholics or anything. I had uncles that were that, and I do not want to follow in those footsteps. None of them live to be real old. That's a whole other story. I didn't really get to know them very well. That was They were all on my dad's side. So, we all have our things in our families. Not, not a person that is perfect. That is all I can say. And I certainly am not. And I will never claim to be. But it was just so much fun. You're probably tired of listening hearing me talk about that, aren't you? <laughs> Come on, Grace, get on to something else. Well, that just happened so recently. It's still a big thing on my mind. Oh, another thing that um, I've been doing is um, meeting with some ladies. We meet once a month on a Friday. They are some ladies from Sunday school that um, there's just about, there's about five of us. I guess and we meet like at 10 o'clock and we crochet or loom knit or whatever you want to do for until about three most of the time we're talking and laughing and having a good time and we eat lunch together and <clears throat> someone brings something of course our hostess we always go to this one lady's house it's so nice she always um, she she always fixes something the last time was some beans with sausage and rice and we had cornbread another lady brought cornbread and some cake and just fabulous food we're talking good old time cooking the other, other time um, she had made some absolutely wonderful beef vegetable soup homemade yeah it was so good I don't know that they want me to make anything. I'll have to go out and buy meat. Because all of them like to eat their meat. And if you've listened to me, my husband is vegetarian. And I don't eat a lot of meat. I'm just not a real big into eating meat. I do like to have... I like um, chicken sometimes. But not not real big on meat. I like, I like tuna fish. I like to... Um, found a recipe for tuna fish um, well I watched actually everything Gwenny she has a channel everything Gwenny um, she doesn't do this anymore because she's been very sick she used to have a, a cooking deal on Fridays and one of the things she did was some tuna fish and instead of using the mayonnaise or whatever she was using avocado and I'm like that is such a cool idea so what I did is in, um, I got some avocado, and then I put, um, you know, you have it all mashed up. You mix that with your tuna. Actually, I think I mixed this with salmon. I used salmon. My husband wanted salmon that day. So I mixed it with the salmon. I used sweet pickle relish because that's what we like. We could use whatever kind. And I added a little bit of mustard. And I also... Um, there was a little bit of onion, if you like onion. And if you like green peppers, you could add that. I, if the green peppers are not cooked, it gives me indigestion, so I can't have it. <laughs> Just doesn't agree with me. But you could mix really anything else you want in there. And it's delicious, and it's, it's healthy for you instead of putting all the mayonnaise. So, if you're thinking of mixing up tuna fish or salmon or something... That's another way to do it, and I, I pepper, always pepper my stuff. Didn't put any salt, because usually that stuff comes with salt. Don't want a whole lot of salt in my food, especially for my husband. Um, high blood pressure. Um, I know his mom had high blood pressure. I can't remember about his dad. So, try to watch that, not to put just tons and tons of salt. He likes his salt. He likes salty things better than sweet, and I'm the other way around. I like my sweets. Oh, and my daughter got me a nothing bunt cake. Have any of you tried? Oh, my gosh, that was the best cake. Nothing bunt cake. Have any of you tried one of those? 
there's no place around here that sells that. But that was the, I've had it one other time. A friend got it for me for my birthday. That is absolutely one of the moistest cakes I've ever eaten. And I have cream cheese frost on it. And it's a bunt cake. And she got me chocolate. Cause I love chocolate. Chocolate, I just, I'm guessing, I don't, I'm not sure, like I said, it's, that we don't have a place like that around here. I'm not sure if they come in other flavors, but I'm guessing they do. If you've had one, maybe you can tell me. But that was delicious. And we cut it in small pieces, and there was plenty for everyone, because it's very, very rich. And after everyone ate, we cut the cake up there at the restaurant into small pieces, and there was still cake left over that I took home. And I just couldn't let it go to waste. It was so good. So I just kept it in the refrigerator and ate on it for a few days until it was gone. I couldn't, I'm not a real big frosting person, so I didn't eat all of the frosting. Frosting is a little bit, a little bit sweet for me. But it was delicious. Really delicious. So... Isn't this so pretty? I just love the sparkles in this. It makes me want to sparkle. So if you want something that makes you happy, this one is fun to do. Let me get this and do it like that. As you can see, I just pick up whatever tool. Just, just use whatever. And um, go in there. I'm just loving this. It's just fun to work on. And it's fun talking to you guys. And I hope that you're having fun with whatever you may be doing. Okay. Oh, and we have... The weather has been so weird, hasn't it? If you over here in the U.S., we've got really cold weather coming again for Texas next week. I mean, I'm in southeast Texas. And one night, I think it's Monday night, it's going to be 29 degrees Fahrenheit. That, that's cold. And this is March. And even for winter, that's just cold in Texas. And I know it's still winter time, but I know there's going to be a lot of snow for you people up north. Oh, I, oh, I feel bad for you. Everybody stay warm. It's just going to be cold and a good day to stay in and diamond paint or crochet or knit or snuggle up with a good book. Yeah, I like to read too. That's always a good pastime, reading something good and being snuggled up nice and warm. So... Yeah, stay warm. Okay, my D's are number six, which is this one. I have to keep making sure I look at for the one that has the line underneath it because it, the way they have it is like this. And I think, oh, there's, that's a number nine. Well, actually, it would be 90. Okay. I just now noticed that. Okay. Oh, I'm getting a little slow here. You're probably thinking over to yourself. Man, you can't see with your glasses on either, can you? <laughs> I may not. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. See, it picks that baby up just fine. Ta-da! Ooh, look at that. And put this one right there. Yes. And then let's put this little booger right there. Look at that. Oh my. Look at the sparkle and shine on this. I am very impressed with this. Very impressed. I. Gosh. I'm looking forward to getting around and using those peacock ones all the way around there. That's going to be so pretty. I think I'll use, do some of the small ones. Let's see. Number... Seven is 
this one. And what I did was um, I put this on here so I know number seven on here is this one. So I'll do a few of these so you can see me do a few of the small ones. They're very easy. It's like doing your regular diamonds, your regular drills. Even though I think, I don't know, they may be the same brown ones. They look big compared to these other ones next to it. So who knows if it's the same or not. And I just pulled the plastic down a bit so I can set my tray down. And let's go around and put these down. And these are very easy to put down. Because now I'm back to doing what I'm used to doing with a diamond painting. Putting one right next to another and with a round shape. And not teardrops or leaves or whatever you want to call them. And this goes down very easily, very quickly, as you can see. I'll try to remember to put the information about these drill pins and this diamond kit under the under this video in case you're interested in checking them out. But yeah, this is coming along very nicely. I like doing a partial occasionally, especially when it's something like this. Um, because it's something different. It's got all these beautiful sparkles on here. The crystals are just gorgeous on this. And it makes me happy. It makes me very happy to do these. Okay, almost done right there. Because then we're coming to the number twos, but the sevens go on up a little bit higher, so I'm going to do those. The only thing in here that is not a crystal, and I showed this in my other video, is the one that are the number fours. And I did those right here. Let's see if you can see them or not. These are actually just regular drills with the AB finish on top of it. So they're they're still very shiny, but you can see it better in the package. These are just regular drills. These are the crystals. You can see the difference. But they do have the AB finish on top of them, so they are shiny. Maybe they just wanted that color and they couldn't get it with the crystal. I don't know, but that is. The only one that is not a crystal are these that I did right around here and right here. And it's going to be, um, all these number fours is going to go around. So it's going to, this is just fabulous. I really like this. Let me do a few more before I say goodbye. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. This is Friday today as I'm recording this. And I will try to get this up today usually I'm usually able to get him up on the same day um, here we are and let's put these over here they go down very quick and easy whoops One thing I do like about this drill is that it has a long head, so you can really see where you're setting the drill down. And the difference, uh, the main difference between this and this is the wood one is much lighter. So, probably... Of course, I have no idea about weighing it, but <clears throat> it's a little bit heavier, but it's not like a real heavy pen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, well, I, oh, let me go ahead and do these up here. There's some more up there at the top. I didn't see those. 
and I'll use my wooden one this time so you can see me use the wood one and you I might have used it earlier I don't remember because I've been yakking on here for 55 minutes and you're probably thinking are you ever gonna shut up and I am in just a minute let me get these pretty yellow crystals down they are number seven on the drill field the drill field of course is simple to read because they're very big so if you've never done a partial and you want to do one I I would recommend this um, I just think they're very pretty the mandalas are just a beautiful they have a, a lot of other types also the ones I ordered from New Frog, I'm not sure when they'll be here, but I'll show you those. And I th think I got one that was a tiger, and I think the others were mandalas, but I cannot be for sure. We'll find out when they get here, though. Anyway, <clears throat> that's all I'll do for now. And here we go for what it looks like at the moment. So shiny. I like shiny things. Oh, let me turn this light off behind it. It might show it better. Well, let's push it. It's just beautiful. I really love this. It's such a pretty piece. Anyway, I'm going to let you go for now. I hope that you are all doing well and that you are having a wonderful day. And I hope you're having a blessed day and that you have a wonderful weekend. You take care, guys. Love you. Bye.